I want to try putting this flat flex connector 0.5 millimeter pitch onto this breakout board. So I'm going to use the flux paste and another good use for a spudger. A plunger on one of these tubes. And an old scrap piece of wire as an applicator. So I'm going to put flux on this. And align the connector as best I can. That looks about as straight as I can get it. I'm piling the flux on rather thick just to make sure it goes everywhere. So a chisel tip at about 350 degrees Celsius, a little solder on the end. And the part definitely got tacked down, but I need to actually complete the connections. I see a little bridging for sure over on this side, so I can try to wick that away. So there's flux still on the board, but it looks like all the connections are made. So now I'm going to do these mechanical solder pads. There's a little plastic clip here for the cable, so I'm going to try to stay toward the back. I just need it somewhat mechanically bonded. That'll do for my purposes. So the continuity test to make sure there's no shorts and that there is connectivity between the connector and these breakout pads. So I'm going to go to adjacent pads and make sure there's no bridges. So 24 to 23 is good. Make sure I got continuity again. So 23 to 22, 22 to 21. So I'm just going to walk along here and make sure pad to pad nothing is shorted. Nothing is shorted. So now I want to probe right on the connector itself up here on the top along the back. So I'm going to start at pin 24 and I don't need to know exactly where I am as long as I do get continuity somewhere as I go along. And there it is. So I'm on the connector itself and not the pad and I know the solder joint's good. So if I go to 23 and then just look for continuity somewhere. 22. So I'm going to keep going all the way along. Okay, so all of these 24 pads have continuity to a terminal on the connector itself along the back of it, and none of these pads side to side are shorted. So everything looks good. That's about the best I could expect from a freehand drag soldering job. So now when I want to use it, I pull out that black plastic tab, insert the ribbon cable, and then push this back in. So I should clean the flux off of this. Alcohol on a swab. That's reasonably clean for what I can do on the workbench. So I'm happy with this.